In this chapter you will learn how you can monitor your machinery or plant with ProDiag in the TIA portal. With the integrated system diagnostics you can troubleshoot the devices and modules in your plant. With the process diagnostics ProDiag integrated in the TIA portal you can individually configure the monitoring of process variables for your plant and thus troubleshoot faults while the system is running. For example, if a temperature is exceeded or if a lifting unit no longer reaches its limit position, you can perform the diagnostics directly on the operating device with preset objects for this purpose. As a result, all faults can be detected and remedied even without a programming device. Even program changes on the controller can be detected by the operating device without having to reload the operating device. For supervision, you have a choice of various types of supervision in the TIA portal. With operand supervision, you primarily monitor static signals, such as pressure and control supply voltage. Interlock supervision keeps track of whether the necessary releases exist for the movement, such as whether the protective door is closed. Action and reaction supervision monitors whether a movement has started or stopped as desired. Position supervision monitors the status in an idle state, thus whether an object has changed its position unplanned. In the programming language graph for sequential control system, these monitoring functions are already integrated in each individual step. Alarms are generated here automatically. How does that look in the TIA portal? In our example, the procedure for the plant has been pre-programmed. Supervisions can be configured using global operands within a data block. Here we use a tag to show how operand supervision is set up. First add a new supervision. As soon as you have set up the first supervision in your project, the corresponding ProDiag blocks will be created automatically. You can now configure the supervision in the inspector window. First, select the type of supervision you want. The next field shows the supervised tag. This is where you enter the signal status up to which the operand must be monitored. In the delay time field, you can state whether the status signal must be released immediately or after a set time. Now set the conditions. For example, that supervision must only be performed when the system is switched on. Then assign the alarm to a category. In other words, whether it's an error, a warning or just for information. The alarm text is defined central in supervision settings. In addition to monitoring global variables, you can also configure supervisions for local operands in a function block. You only need to set the supervision on the block interface once. You can then call them up as often as you need. For local supervisions, the ProDiag function block must be assigned to an instance. As a program process, you can connect the fault bit of a supervision in the program sequence. Once you have configured all the supervisions, you need to translate them and load them into the controller. How do you display the process diagnostics information on the controller? To do this, the TIA portal offers a range of screen objects, which you simply drag into an HMI screen. The ProDiag overview gives you an overview of the current status of the configured supervision. Now you just assign the status tags from the ProDiag function block to this overview. Done! Use the graph overview when you want to review the current status of a graph sequencer. You assign the PLC tag of the graph instance data block to this sequencer. The PLC code view is used to display PLC program networks in your LAD, 
FBD and graph programs. The PLC code view is activated via a button. You can use the button contained in the graph overview for it. Of course, you can also view process diagnostic information in the form of an alarm view. Once you have loaded the configuration into the HMI, you can diagnose your process sequences directly on the HMI in the event of an error. To do this, mark the error message in the alarm view. This will display the relevant program code. You can see the cause of the error at a glance and respond accordingly. The integrated machinery and plant diagnostics can be performed without a programming device directly on the operating unit. All the displays remain constantly up to date thanks to automatic synchronization. And all of this takes place without causing any changes to the user program.